All right, recording. So hi you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm back with a new video and we're gonna check out uh, one of the Diaz brothers. This video is called Nate Diaz being Nate Diaz. Uh, these two are definitely characters. Uh, I noticed uh, comments when I reacted to them before. People have a lot to say about them. Some love them and some don't. Uh, my first impression, like, I love that they are themselves and doesn't seem to compromise their character for anyone or nothing. Uh, I value that a lot. Uh, but I'm not gonna ramble. Let's get straight into this video. Nate Diaz being Nate Diaz. <laughs> Alright, you guys, let's see. Ah! Where is the song? <laughs> reacting to that though, but they made it look funny. He said, pass it around <laughs> to the camera <laughs> What? What are you doing? I don't give a fuck. I love uh, they, they called this one funny. Love it. I know they were fine. I mean, Who's you... the champion of my weight class? 55 and 70. 55's Khabib. Okay. 70's Kamaru Usman. Okay. I mean, it'd be I, nice. I, I feel like I'm just better and cooler than those guys. <laughs> the hell do I want to fight them for? Pettis is cooler than both of them. Fight, fight wise. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's also rumors that you might retire. Have you heard those? Uh, no, but that sounds interesting. I might do that. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Bring, bring your training partners in. You're going to need them. My whole team will fucking beat your whole Nate team. Nate Diaz will that. Nathan, it's good to see you. Uh, what did he say, though? My bad, you guys. My whole team will fucking beat your whole team's ass. How about that? Nathan, it's good to see you. No more music? Uh, or are you changing the track? Song. What do we got? Wait, where Brooklyn at? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Hold up, Pac's coming on next. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Biggie and Pac together. Punk Master Flex. Yeah, this is that. Okay. Can't you know touch my riches. Even if it has Fancy Hammer and the Fee 57. I'm the legendary. Tell us how you trained for this fight, Nate. Because you didn't get much of a. Trained to kill. Always. Duh. <laughs> I don't like that guy. That was Kurt Pellegrino. Yeah, Why don't you like him? Yeah, he's... You have some history, right? Yeah, he's. he's... I don't know. I don't like guys who clown around. He used to be on Hendo Gracie's team, too, and he jumped ship, so. He's a traitor. <laughs> Nothing huge, but you know, this is uh, this is something. Oh, I didn't know you had these skills. I'm an artist. <laughs> That's all I got, though. <laughs> it was good, but in all honesty, were you a little annoyed that you're not on this? Yeah, where the fuck's my picture at? <laughs> I got a small self portrait. The weed I mean, he's the after star. the fight, so I had a small game of CBD. So what was that? CBD. By uh, Game of Nutrition, it's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel as though you had something to prove tonight and, and finish the fight decisively to show that, you know what, you are a top contender and you did deserve to win that fight? Nah, yeah, I did win that fight. Only people who thought I lost that fight were the judges, but who, who's that? Yeah, who were the judges? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're saying you wanted to go to 170. Okay, this fight's short, at 170. Behind them, like, yeah. We're talking and you're like, maybe you should talk to him. I'm like, shut up, Ariel. And in my head, in my head, I'm like, shut up. Hey, but, I was, and then we're talking, so everything. You were right? Wow. Actually getting credit. Yeah. Uh, why are you back at 150? Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. Bell. I don't give a fuck what you say, motherfucker. Yeah, thugging on mine, motherfucker. What you got? <laughs> fuck your bitch ass belt, too. The belt. I don't give a fuck about the belt. The only belt Why I care about. Everywhere. Why you bring it everywhere? I remember in, in July they wanted you to Hold fight. On. Smith and Wesson. Here we go again. So he do that when he don't wanna, you know. <laughs> Meaning you're supposed to meet to train tomorrow for training for jujitsu or boxing or MMA or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
we have an appointment. We're going tomorrow at 7 p.m. and we're gonna train. Mm -hmm. Me and you. And if you get a <laughs> stomachache or your toothache or your hair or ain't done or something ain't right or your girlfriend's mad and you don't make it to 7 o'clock, you lost, dude. Mm -hmm. You can't make it. You can't cut it. Straight up. That's an L. Stock in California, baby. You already know what's up. Yeah, they seem to love him uh, from Stockton, where he's from. I, I understand, like, he's a star. I, I think they are great role models in the way that they're so honest and raw, and they seem to be themselves. And they're successful, but they don't like the fame. And I totally understand that with the cameras and everything. I can't imagine. So sometimes you express it. You just, you know, reach a point where you just... You know, have no filter. Yeah, they're entertaining though, <laughs> I must say. But this was Nate Diaz only. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in another one.